What's up guys, welcome back. This is JSTAR Films, your number one guy for your video edit and tech reviews. Today we're going to be tackling a major issue here in DaVinci Resolve and that is with the exporting. Whether it's audio issues you're having, video issues, whatever it is, we're tackling it in this video. So if you're new here, thank you, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back and let's go straight into the video. So the major issue is when people try to export in DaVinci Resolve, including I myself, we find out that the app tends to crash. And then given that DaVinci Resolve already has this hype of, oh, DaVinci Resolve better than Premiere Pro for most parts, which it actually is, we still have this issue that we don't have in Premiere Pro. To tackle this, the first step I'll tell you to do is to first ensure that your GeForce experience has optimized DaVinci Resolve, as you can see here. So it's going to show like this green tick at the bottom like this so it's going to tick it that okay yes it's optimized and stuff so game blah, blah blah is optimized for it blah 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 so when you're sure that davinci resolve is done with this you open if you're using like a, an amd chip or a an nvidia chip just cross check that then once you're done with that before you export ensure no other application is using the resources of your system so if you have any browser that is open with several tabs you actually want to close that browser unless you need it precisely. So like this, as you can see, apart from OBS running, nothing else is really using my GPU. Let me close this. Okay, so into Resolve. The part I noticed that really causes this is when you're having um, intensive graphics or should I say, let's say you do a color grade and then you track, blah, blah, blah. Stuff like that can tend to crash your Resolve when you're exporting on a not so high-end system like let's say your gp is not so high and stuff like that look at this part i want you to i'm playing it through if you look at it, you can see 7.5 frames per second when it's meant to be 29 29.9 as you can see in the rest of it that doesn't have that can you see how it's like flipping through okay beautiful and then for the rest part of it, it plays smoothly but just that part where like major text comes in, things tend to drop and stuff like that. By the way, this movie is out now. Go watch it. It's really fun. It's called Fear Women. I'll link it up down in the description or up here. So, what you're meant to do is to replay this. Replay the part where you feel my cause the tension. Actually, when you try to export, you see the part where it causes tension. You watch out for it and then you replay that part here. So, you replay it a couple of times. I put my resolve crash so I can show you how I actually tackled this issue. A few moments later. Oh, lol. I think it has crashed. <laughs> I jinxed myself. So back to the FD page, we play it again. So you can see that was like the major contention in this my export, this beginning part. So when you replay it a couple of times successfully, you go to deliver. Well, I'm going to export the file. And then I want you to type a name of your choice. Let's just call this export probes, something like this. You choose where you want to save it. You browse, you find where you want to save it. Just the normal good stuff that you normally do. Then you scroll down. So when you scroll down, you scroll down to advanced settings. You set up all this as no you normally would. Your encoder as NVIDIA encoder, blah, blah, blah. So you scroll down here. And then what you want to select is this too. So they will normally by default be unchecked. So you want to check them. That's use proxy media and use render catch images. When I was test running this year, I found that sometimes render catch works. So you put off the proxy, blah, blah, blah. I just interchanged and then I just figured out, leave both of them on, like it doesn't harm me. So that's, I found out that's what works for me. So you can just experiment within these two or use both of them. So, um, when you do that, you click on Add to Render Queue. So it goes to Render Queue. And then all you have to do now is to hit Render. I actually hope it crashes again. Because <laughs> there's a very key thing that happens when it crashes. Let me speed this up. Okay, that's not showing the percentage. Before it wasn't showing the percentage. Um, well, it's, it doesn't look like it's crashing anytime soon, though. While I was doing the outro for this video, <laughs> Resolve actually crashed while I was exporting. So let's let's tackle that now. I came back here, I restarted Resolve as I normally would. Did the playback that I did, 
then i came here and named the export the exact same name as the last time and i left those two things ticked like i did so you leave both of them ticked so in theory when you click on add to render queue it will bring up replace existing file blah 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 and then you click on replace the reason you're doing this which i feel is like what it does is that it uses information it has gathered from the previous render like all it has done and then still uses that to like render this one because i notice anytime i do that i don't have the render issue anymore so you just do that and then you render so automatically it replaces that one or let's say it uses what it has gotten from there that's what i feel so once that happens you export and then you shouldn't have any issues i hope this video really helped you if you have any other solutions that i probably don't know about because if i knew i'll have said it um please drop in the comment section so that the rest of the community can get information from you if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like hit that subscribe button so that you'll be part of the first people to see when i drop a new video if you haven't checked out this movie make sure you check it out because why not um and see you in the next one